Hi, I'm back. Well, I had to go to the emergency room the other day. Apparently, it's recommended that you remove the bullets from your gun before you clean it. At least my trip to the emergency room was uneventful. But for some reason, every time I go to the doctor, he always gives me a proctological examination. And he doesn't use any lube because it gives him a rash. Whatever. So as the doctor was third knuckle deep in my ass, it made me start thinking about Star Wars again. Uh, you using the whole fist, Doc? This time, my thoughts drifted to another idea for the next movie, but this one starts with a murder. The first thing I am sure you're thinking is who deserves this gruesome fate? Well, in my last video, I laid out my case as to why the person that should die is Poe. This time around, it needs to be someone else. The victim of this tragic crime needs to be someone who was shrouded in mystique and never had their character fully explained. It should be a hero that, while scoring victories for the good guys, could almost pull off a Kaiser Sose slash iceberg persona where we only see just a piece of what could be a part of a deeper, more sinister past and potential future. Someone that knows just enough about the bad guys to be helpful, but deep down was acting as a double agent that refused to return to the fold. Then as punishment for his treasonous defection, the former masters assassinate this character at the beginning of this new Star Wars movie, unending the proverbial apple cart, sending the surviving characters into a spiraling vortex of searching for not only the perpetrator or perpetrators of this murder, but also the truth behind the motive. What they discover shakes the characters to their core and makes them question their friendships and loyalties. This could be a Star Wars whodunit thriller that blends the line between good and evil. So who in this new Star Wars universe gets the axe? FN2 187. I heard it's retarded or something. Yes, the lovable but somewhat goofy Finn, the slave soldier that appears to muster the strength to rebel against the First Order when he frees Poe from captivity, the janitor that intimately knows the layout of Starkiller Base, the alleged coward in The Last Jedi that only once he was caught in an effort to save his own skin divulges that he knows exactly how the Resistance is being tracked and knows how to deactivate the system because he's the guy that used to mop it. My goodness! This retired janitor sure does know a lot about Snoke's ship, the Supremacy. His memory is nothing short of amazing. Half of the time, I forget Grace. where the bathrooms are at my job. Grace. Finally, we cannot forget in The Rise of Skywalker, Finn's turn of luck in managing to extract vital information from Dio, the recently acquired droid that was reluctant and skittish with those around him, but somehow divulged to Finn a fatal flaw regarding a navigational tower that had a profound impact on the Star Destroyers just waiting to deploy. This sh ah. cleaner knows everything. Yeah because you're full of sh He even deduces what happens when the navigational signal changes location. Holy sh this guy is a genius. Or is he? Hmm, dear audience, I'd like to postulate two potential observations regarding Finn. Option one, he's a bumbling janitor that knows all the secrets of not only the First Order, but also the secretive Final Order on a planet that he shouldn't have ever been to or even know that exists. Or option two, I'm a spy. Spy. That's right, Finn the goofball that you grew to love was an agent for the final order the entire time. Come on, don't bullsh** ah. me. We are introduced to Finn in the opening scene on Jakku, where presumably he loses someone close to him. We're meant to believe Finn is traumatized by this loss so much so that he devises a plan to defect. But I surmise it was something else. That's right, he's not traumatized, he's angry. Ah! I'm insane with anger! And his anger is so overwhelming that Captain Phasma decides that this is the perfect time to give Finn the opportunity to go on his first mission as an agent. So when she catches him in the shuttle, you get the impression that she's going to reprimand him, but reality... Submit your blaster for inspection. This really is a code that activates Finn as an agent of the final order. Seems implausible? It's all bullshit. Well, you just need to rewind to the prequels. Why not? Mind control is huge in Star Wars. Always has been. Execute order 66. You capture Poe, an alleged resistance leader, and would it not make sense to figure out a way to stage a plot where Poe escapes but you track him in an effort to find the resistance stronghold, thus yielding a much bigger prize. So you activate Agent FN2187 that feigns his desire to escape and defect from the First Order and then gains Poe's trust by helping him escape his prison cell and steal a ship. What a perfect way to embed yourself into an underground organization quickly. So Finn leads Poe to a fighter bay. Again, Finn feigns stupidity, claiming he only knows blasters, yet immediately is able to disrupt the flight operations, wipe out cannons on the Star Destroyer. Then as Poe starts taking the TIE Fighter back to Jakku, Finn objects. He wants Poe to head to his base of operations, but Poe explains he has to retrieve a map that leads to Skywalker. Finn has hit the jackpot. However, the operation goes ticks up when you crash. Time for plan B. Oh, we know that FN2187 was code for something. No, it's not for Leia's cell number in A New Hope. Here it is, 2187. It's two 187s. What's a 187? Northwest I don't know. Murder, death, kill, murder, death, kill. Finn is an agent with multiple homicides to his name. <laughs> 
he's killed twice and he'll do it again. Anyways, when it comes to after the crash, Finn thinks Poe is dead and well, sh** what the hell am I gonna do now? But as luck would have it, he bumps into Poe's old droid and he's introduced to Rey. How convenient. The mission is back on. This time around, Finn lies to Rey by claiming he is part of the resistance. His old story obviously wouldn't fly with Poe. Now assume dead. No pun intended. I'm not into puns. This gains enough trust from her to help him get off Jakku. Now the plot thickens when they run into Han Solo. Han, whose career was that of a thief and a liar, can smell Finn's bullshit and keeps Finn at a distance as he is unsure the game Finn is playing. Han then takes Finn and Rey to Maz's castle, where they are recognized in the bar and someone alerts the First Order. Now normally, I would skip the scene, but there is a moment that Finn nearly breaks character, and I maintain that Maz can see through the cracks in his facade. Finn recognizing he might have to come clean with his intentions, pivots, claiming he wants to run to escape the reach of the First Order. Order. It's the only way to prevent him from being discovered. What better way to throw off the scent of folks that are used to dealing with swindlers and conmen? Now, I'm sure everyone is thinking, okay, Steve, we followed you down this rabbit hole thus far. How does Finn transition from agent to double agent? The answer to that is when he sees what Kylo Ren does to Rey that makes him freak out. You can tell he's been getting a little chubby every time he's around her. Can you blame him? The First Order definitely seems like more of a sausage fest, and the guy just wants to get his dick wet. Hey, where are the white women at? Finn even tries to convince Rey to come with him on his ruse. You know he just wants to get her alone to lay some pipe. I respect a guy like that. I do. So when Kylo Ren is walking off with Rey, Finn is like, hey, that's my pipe. Hey, hey, find your own. And tries to stop him, but he is unsuccessful. I think in this moment, Finn has his true change of heart. He's never displayed this much emotion up until this point, and it's here when he decides to switch sides. Women. They could do crazy things to a man. And if you notice from this point on, Finn's goes from bumbling idiot to a very skilled informant. He provides all the information needed for the Resistance to launch an attack on the Star killer base. Yes, the janitor knows not only what is a thermal oscillator, but also where it's located. The resistance then blows up the base. Finn is a hero and his secret is safe. Finn has successfully become a double agent. I know many of you will say, oh, Steve, you stuffed duck. There is nothing to support your hypothesis. No data to draw your conclusions. And I say, kiss my ass. Yes, Fuck you too. Moving on, in the beginning of The Last Jedi, Finn wakes up from his recovery, and when he figures out the First Order is onto the Resistance, he knows he'll die a horrible death as a traitor, so he attempts to run like a little bitch. <coughs> Remember at the end of The Force Awakens, he was the man kicking <coughs> and now he's turning tail to run? It's all because he knows he donned <coughs> f***ed up, and the First Order, and specifically Kylo Ren, will enjoy pulling out his fingernails and cutting his nuts off. Ren just seems like... He's into that. Whoa, gay, gay. But getting back to my point, like I said earlier, Finn only regains his confidence when he's able to turn the tables on the First Order with his deep knowledge of the inner workings of Snoke's ship. But of course he passes off knowing this classified information by saying he was just such a good poop baron. Holy sh**, Finn must have been an outstanding slinger of sanitation. Looks like somebody threw away a perfectly good white boy. This motherfucker has literally cleaned every ship and base in the First Order. Maybe the Resistance should have Finn scour their facilities. Who knows what this clumsy custodian can turn up. Folks, is it not apparent? Finn is a double agent now. This is all bullshit. The Resistance would have been unable to defeat the First slash Final Order without him. And I see it now. Everyone focuses on Rey and Poe doing their thing, but they completely overlook the keys to their success. It was FN motherfucking 2187s, bitch. Always with the intel, always with the excuses. Finn is ready with the snake ambush. What's a snake do? However, Finn knows what he's done and realizes that he's a traitor, really to both sides. First for trying to infiltrate the resistance and second to defect from the whatever order. So he knows he's kind of fucked if he comes clean. That means it's a secret worth taking to his grave. And that's exactly why the next Star Wars movie has to begin with his death. It will mark the unraveling of a dark society underneath the basic good versus evil plot lines that we've been accustomed to. The masturbating Codebreaker even alluded to this in The Last Jedi. You'll notice that Finn doesn't even seem surprised by the fact that the arms dealers are selling to both the good guys and the bad guys. Finn's death will consume his friends, which will lead to an epic escapade, searching for answers. And the deeper they dig, the more sinister everything becomes. Sorry, Finn, but you're about to succumb to the infamous Shadow Mongoose. That's disgusting! Hey, thank you for watching. We hope you understand this is just satire, and we have a good time doing it. If what you saw here made you happy, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you didn't like what you saw here, please hit the like and subscribe button, because it'd make me happy. Thanks for watching. Mahalo.